Today we're going to learn about the differences between simple and compound time. Hi, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. Today we're going to be looking at the differences between simple and compound time. Now originally this was going to be a part of a bigger video about how to program realistic MIDI drums in your home recording studio, but it was taking on a bit of a life of its own so I thought it deserved its own video. But if you are interested in programming MIDI drums in your door, then please check out that video. Now as ever, if you like this kind of content, please do like and subscribe. This is a new channel, I'm loving the new company I'm getting, come in and join the gang. Let's get on with the video. In order to understand the difference between simple and compound time, we're going to start off with simple time. We'll take a 4-4 bar and we'll add a hi-hat to each beat of the bar getting something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. If we take each beat and divide it by 2, we end up with 8 inner beats. We'll put a hi-hat on each of those inner beats. one and two and three and four and. That is simple timing because we've divided by two. We could further divide by two again and end up with 16 inner beats and end up with something like this. Again, this is still simple timing because everything is a division of two. Let's go back to our eight inner beats and let's add a kick and a snare drum. Each of these will be playing on one of the eight inner beats. So that is simple timing because everything is a division of two. Now let's move on to compound timing. Again, we're gonna start off with our hi-hat on each of the four beats in the bar. One, two, three, four. But this time we're going to divide each beat by three, ending up with 12 inner beats in the bar. Let's put a hi-hat on each of those. One and a two and a three and a four and a. This is compound time because everything is a division of three. If we put a kick drum and a snare drum again on one of those inner beats, we end up with something like this. So this is compound time because everything is divided by three. So why am I telling you this? Well, later when you come to quantizing your drum beats, you're gonna to wanna to know whether your song is in simple or compound time. Let's add a guitar part to our simple time. Now the guitar part is also playing in simple time. It's playing on divisions of two of the bar. So what happens if we take that guitar part but put it against a drum beat which is in compound time? We'll have a listen and see. Okay, so something's not quite right. Some parts are just a bit iffy, other parts are downright terrible. Now, once in a while, you do wanna go for this effect of one instrument playing compound time, the other one playing in simple time, but most of the time you don't, and you at least need to understand the difference. So there you have it. I hope that's cleared up any confusion. If you do have any questions, please ask in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them all. Now this channel is all about helping you to get better results in your home studio with your recording and your music. So if it's the kind of thing that you'd like to see more of, then please do subscribe and I will try and make some more videos for you. See you next time.